So how do we stop hustling? Here are three ways to stop hustling. Number one, you need to start by deciding what you want to believe. Hustling hard by working longer and longer to the exclusion of a healthy, balanced life is actually a form of addiction. It's very easy to get addicted to work and this is especially true if you own your own business. Your business becomes your baby and it's such a large investment of your time and energy. You've already invested so much of your time into your business and you just believe that if you work a little bit harder, you'll push your business over the edge. And unfortunately, it doesn't always work this way. To break the negative pattern of hustling, the first step is to decide what you want to believe. You will literally get what you want because like attracts like. So what do you want to believe when it comes to your success and your business? What kind of results do you want? This is why it's so important to set goals because if you don't know what you want, how will you know when you've got there? How much revenue do you want your business to make? What do you want to offer in return for that money? And what kind of business owner do you want to be? You might be thinking, well, goals are just going to make me work even harder as I'll just be under so much pressure to achieve my goals. And I totally understand how you feel because I was caught in this negative loop for many years myself. And I totally managed to break free from this and set goals that do not put pressure on me to achieve the impossible. I have a much healthier relationship with goals now and I'm so passionate about this topic that I wrote a whole book on it. My book, Stamp Goals, will walk you through the process of setting goals that don't stress you out and actually achieving them. Number two, decide how many hours you want to work. Now that you've decided what you want to achieve in your business, you need to set some limits on your own time. How many hours do you want to work per week or per day? And how many days per week do you want to work? Really think carefully about your answer. In an ideal world, if you could achieve all of your goals, how many hours would you work? And don't say none because that would get boring after a while because if you truly love your work and if you don't love your work, you'll want to be manifesting work that you do love. If you really love your work, you will want to do it on a regular basis. For me personally, I work between three to four hours per day, five days per week, and I take at least six weeks of vacation time every year. I really love my work and I feel really good working this number of hours, but I also love spending time with my family and everything else that keeps me healthy. So that's why I balance my time to include everything that I want during one day. Number three, decide that you are worthy of a work-life balance. The main issue that most people have when it comes to deciding to work less and manifest more is that they don't actually believe that they are worth it. They already have a belief system that says, I am only worth having a successful business if I've almost killed myself to get it. And if that is what you believe, then that is what you will manifest. Do you have something stopping you from even deciding to work less hours? What belief is stopping you? Are you willing to let that belief go now? And if not, why not? What are the advantages of carrying on thinking this way? What are the advantages of letting go of this belief and, and choosing to think something else now?